my work is, is about people. It can be a smile, it can be a moment, it can be a wrinkle. It can be a line or it can be a broken piece. Or just a moment that I don't know how I got there, but I, I found it and then I, the sculpture starts to grow from there. And I, usually I leave those moments there and I build everything around it. Just took the ears yesterday out and I feel that they are missing. <laughs> I need to put them back in again. It's like I'm building and breaking and building and breaking until I, I see something that I, I feel that it's precious and then I, I let it grow from there. remake this one maybe like 50 times. The same piece and change it. I believe in work directly from life and, and from imagination. When you do something, you're drawing or you writing or you singing that you have actually you're not in a particular time zone you're just sinking into into your activity when you do a head when it's exact life size it feels smaller and I, I wanted to be monumental I want it to be bigger than that actually but I found that this is a very good scale to that actually you can still believe that it's a person, even that it's oversized. When you look at, at, at him, you, you feel that it's big, but you get used to it very quick. A lot of time I work on something and then I, I, I found something that it's uh, familiar something that I rec recognize that it's not actually a particular person that I sculpt, but it's uh, or something, it's something inside of me or it's a global feeling that it can affect or people can recognize in anywhere, in any person. The beginning was, uh, was supposed to be the sketch for the modern Moses. It's a change to become uh, my friend. And I like it that he's a common, simple person. And you have different kinds of mood. From one side is smiling, from one side is upset and is a bit in the dream world. It could be that it started as a bit rebe rebellious way that a lot of artists use a life cast as their, as their mean. They don't appreciate or they cannot sculpt with their hands and they don't understand that actually you transform something from you into the piece. And if you have the confidence and you believe in what your subconscious tell you and, and that you're not gonna fuck it and it's gonna be a beautiful piece in the end and you just flow with it, it's like you, you're gonna feel it before you understand it. pieces in the gallery. You feel in these amazing busts the profound intelligence of the people that are being portrayed. You feel the depth 
the magnitude of who Moses actually was. You're in the presence of something really deep and real and it's like, you know, seeing a great play or a great, it's a great work of art.